Hi, I'm Crawford Wiley, Director of Music and Organist here at St. Jude's, and welcome back. On our last episode, we talked a little bit about the principal pipes on the organ, which are usually the pipes that you'll see in the front, in the facade, and they work like a recorder. So the air goes into the toe hole at the bottom of the pipe and comes out the mouth. That's where your sound comes, and they sound like this. So today we're going to talk about a completely different set of pipes in this instrument. Um, as you'll see over the course of these episodes, there are so many different kinds of pipes and they look really different and they make sounds in completely different ways too. So today we're going to talk about the set of trumpet pipes in the swell division. The swell division is the set of stops and pipes controlled by this top manual. Um, so if I were to play you a little bit of the trumpet stop right now, you would hear... And this is one of the pipes. I've taken out a pipe that I won't use today. Um, and as you can see, it looks totally different from the principal pipes that we talked about last time. But the principle is the same, that air is going to go into the toe hole and produce a sound. But the way it does that is completely different. So we'll get a close-up later on. But when the, when the air comes into the toe hole here, it forces this tiny reed to vibrate against the shallot. And in principle, it works pretty much the same as a clarinet. So the fast vibration of the reed against the shallot is what produces the sound. And then the resonator, which is this large part that you can see, determines the quality and tone of that sound and also the pitch. So again, as with the principal pipes, the longer the resonator, the deeper the pitch. So as you would guess, this being a very short resonator, the sound is very high pitched and I will blow into it and it will produce an earth shattering scream. So it kind of sounds like a really high pressured kazoo in a way. So that's a trumpet pipe. Um, and as you'll see next week when we talk about the oboe pipes, the principle is going to be exactly the same. You'll have principle as in the way that it works, not as in the kind of pipe called the principle. Um, you're going to have a little reed vibrating against a shallot, but the oboe resonators are a completely different look, and that determines the sound. Um, so you'll get a much softer sound on the oboe, whereas these trumpet pipes have a very piercing, loud, kind of exciting tone, which you want in a trumpet. So now we'll cut to Henry Purcell's trumpet tune played on the trumpet pipes of the swell division and accompanied by the principle of the choir and great, which we looked at last week. Thanks for joining. Can't wait to see you on our next episode. Bye.